Hi, in this video, we're going to discuss the design ribbon tab. To start, let us generate a random text using the run function. And then, to use the themes feature here, you have to select first the heading or let's say the title of your document. And then, head to the home and set it as a heading. Let's say... I use the first heading or heading 1 and then after selecting a heading let's move back to the design ribbon tab and then at the leftmost part of this ribbon you can click on the drop down arrow to select a theme for example I want to use an ion or ion board or dividend or you could choose uh, another type of styles or formatting and then you can also choose a different color for this one let's say red orange and also the um, median or also you could choose a different types of formatting while changing the colors of your team these are the predefined themes that you could choose from the MS Word. So let's move on to the um, to a different type of formatting. Let's say the droplet. And then you could also change the, the way how the fonts looks like. A combination of fonts for Arial or Corbel or Kandara. You could also set the paragraph spacing to no spacing or no paragraph spacing or compact or tight open relaxed or double depends on your preferences so I prefer the tight as the spacing or open and then also the effects say for example I inserted a shape so let me first insert a shape square and then an ellipse and then an arrow so let's see what will be the effect of this command here in effects it only changes the uh, the way how this shapes looks like okay just like this one as you can see the effect changes for each uh, shapes okay so let me choose this one so that's how it looks like and then set at, as default it gives us a prompt it says that set the current style set and theme including fonts colors effects and paragraph spacing as your default these settings will be applied to a new blank document so meaning to say the style that I have uh, created will be the default uh, style for every document that I'm going to create for in the future okay so I'll just click no and then you could also put a watermark add ghost text such as confidential or urgent behind the content of the page so let's try this one so let's add a confidential word so as you could see or we act we cannot actually see the uh, the confidential word if the brightness is really high but as we change the page color let's say black you will notice it that it has taken effect in our document you could also change the watermark message or custom watermark let's say we want to change the text into um, design tab example also the font so let's uh, apply it then close so as you can see it changes the the content behind our uh, document so you could also change the page border to highlight or to see the margin for the page so let's say let's pick this um, border here so all corners will have a border 
and then apply it. Okay, so let's change first the page color. So now we have a border. Okay. And then you could also choose a different type of border here. So there's a lot of borders to choose from. Okay. So that's the design ribbon tab. I hope that you learned something new. So we will move on to the next ribbon tab which is the layout ribbon tab on our next video thank you and see you on the next video